Now, here in the West Midlands, we know about everything that Birmingham has to offer. But does everyone else? Today, the fastest growing city in Europe with a world-class manufacturing base has been bigging itself up to MPs at Westminster. Our political correspondent, Alison McKenzie, reports. Making sense of politics, a different view on the world from the young people of Birmingham taking part in the Celebrate the City event in Parliament today. No, let me start this from the beginning. I, Don't you know, bash Birmingham, love Birmingham. For starters, why do we call ourselves the second city? We're not. There's a capital called London and after that we're the first city. A world-class orchestra, world-class research and medical care. Also on show today, traders, exporters and businesses from Allen Rock. And we're very lucky in Birmingham because it is, it is those vibrant local centres in which you can get the diversified products, you can meet a lot of independent businesses, businesses that are investing within the local economy, training, taking on new apprenticeships day in, day out. But more importantly, you can buy everything in Birmingham. Now it may be his job, but the Minister for Cities, Greg Clark, was insisting he is impressed. We know that when it comes to jobs and investment, it's not just countries competing with other countries, cities are competing with other cities. And so for Birmingham to really shout from the rooftops about the strengths that are uh, clearly visible here today is absolutely the right thing. 40% of the city is under the age of 25. Among those there today, Lauren Williams, the young poet laureate, with an anti-war message. Tears cried by many, for many, too many, too many enemies, too many bombs. A positive day which they hope will bring positive results for Birmingham. Alison McKenzie, ITV News, Westminster.